Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash of Clans episode. Now, I know that it's been a while since I've done another Clash of Clans uh, hint, advice episode for it. So, for if you want to, if you are just now getting the game, you want to be able to not spend your gems. That's the most important thing. That's what they're trying to trick you on. They want you to spend your gems. But you want to save up your gems, that way you can get the five builder sets, and also you can get a lot of achievements. It has it on your achievement wall, and you can get a lot of gems by doing that. And so, for me being a Town Hall 7 player, even though I am really close to getting the Barbarian King, because I have like over 6,000 Dark Elidge right now, so I'm getting there. <laughs> but other than that, for what you want to do for your farming, you want to have Barbarians and Archer, and for what people call it, they call it Archer. But for me, I usually put in like 10 wall breakers, maybe 3 healing spells, and the rest for barbarians and archers, but mostly archers. At least a little bit less than half for the barbarians. Because for barbarians, archers, and wall breakers, they can make sure to they can go on the outside of the enemy's base and you can be able to get their gold elixir only unless most of their gold and elixir or even dark elixir is on the inside now if you want to keep on scrolling through there spending your gold then until you find the correct one that you want to go to because then you'll know that you'll be able to find out so also for let's say you're running low but you want to take a break there's always a shield you can get one for one day you can get one for two days you can also get one for a week shield, but it costs 250 gems, that's what I'm saving up right now, because I've been removing trees, trunks, everything for what you name it, for on Clash of Clans to get 250 gems, because I want to see how long it'll go for my Dark Elixir to save up. And for Town Hall 7 players, if you are watching this, you always want to put your Dark Elixir on the inside of your base. Because if you have, like, a good clan... Here, I can show you my base real quick. Now I'm, gonna, I'm about to show you my base for what I have it to be as because it's really guarding my dark elixir well. Okay. All right. So as you can see here. This is how I've got my base set up. I've got my town hall on the outside. That can be used for farming. And mostly my Dark Elixir and my Dark Elixir drill are both inside because I've got most of my defenses surrounding it. Now they can go towards my storages and of course I just got a message in my clan. But as you can see I've got over 6,000 Dark Elixir and 
for that you can save up your Dark Adventure to get the Barbarian King. And I cannot wait to unlock the Barbarian King because the Barbarian King, he can... Um, he is a huge advantage for your base because he can protect your base really well. He can help you out for, like, just in case your troops are in trouble and he can, and you can put the Barbarian King where they are and just go like, okay, I'm going to rescue you and I'm going to finish this off. So, hold on. So anyway, that's my that's my base for you guys. You can um, you can put it out any way you want to, because for you can save up a lot of your just regular elixir to make it be going for your dragons, because you will be able to unlock your dragons. And also for your uh, dark, um, dark troops, because then you'll get to have minions and the hog riders. For one of my friends, he uses a lot of hog riders because you know, I think you'll go for no one. No one ever says hog rider. If you watch from like, a Clash of Clans, um, Clash of Clans here on YouTube, or Let's Play Clash of Clans, um, like, advertisements, then you'll be able to know what I'm talking about. But other than that, if there, there's, like, for shields, you can be off of it for a week if you want to take a break. You can, if you want to use... My advice for the farming, you can, but there's also a website that you can go on to, I'm not sure how to put the link up, but you can go to um, armycomps.com, um, just type in, type in army comps and the website will be the first one, and you'll be able to um, no one to do this. There's this guy that created the website, and I've been using it a little bit. So, and for what you want to do for the gold and elixir grabbing, you can, if it's got it separated everywhere, you can just do a circle around the base, around the enemy's base. That's mostly what I do, and I'm trying to achieve the Fall Breaker challenge, and that's going to give me 20 gems, and hopefully that will bring me up to 250. So, and mainly, like for my last Clash of Clans, um, the one that goes with for what I'm doing now, that video will be much helpful because it talks about rushing your town hall and everything else. So that will be it guys. Just make sure to uh, tune in and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.